In this example, I need to graph the following rational function by finding any asymptotes, holes, and intercepts. So I need to find all this information before I can graph my function. The function is f of x equals the quantity 2x minus 3, all divided by x plus 1. Now, is this function in simplest form? Can I factor anything in the numerator? No. Can I factor anything in the denominator? No. And does anything reduce on this function? No. So remember, holes come when you reduce a common factor from the numerator and the denominator, but in this case, nothing reduces. So are there any holes? There are none. Next, looking at vertical asymptotes, you look at the function in simplest form and you take the denominator x plus 1 and set it equal to 0. Subtracting 1 from both sides, you get x equals negative 1. So that is the equation of the vertical asymptote. Next, does this function have a horizontal asymptote? To answer that question, we need to look at the degree of the polynomial in the numerator and denominator. So looking at the numerator, what is its degree? What's the highest exponent on any of the x's? It's a 1, so the degree is 1. How about the denominator? What's the highest exponent on any of the x's? It's also a 1, so its degree is 1. So the degrees of these two polynomials are equal. And when the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, there is a horizontal asymptote, and its equation is y equals the ratio of the leading coefficients. What's the leading coefficient of the numerator? The first term is the term with the highest exponent on an x, its coefficient is a 2. And in the denominator, the term with the highest exponent on an x is the first term. And what's the coefficient in front of this x that we're too efficient to write? It's a 1. So its leading coefficient is a 1. So the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y equals 2 divided by 1 is 2. Now we need to determine does the graph cross the horizontal asymptote. Remember in rational functions the graph can cross the horizontal asymptote but it can never cross a vertical asymptote. To answer this question, we take the function of 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 and set it equal to the value of the horizontal asymptote. Then we determine does this equation have a solution. If it does, it's the x value of the point where the graph crosses the horizontal asymptote. To solve this equation, I'm going to turn a 2 into a fraction by dividing it by 1. Then I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to get 1 times 2x minus 3 equals 2 times x plus 1. Running out of room, so I'm going to go up here. 1 times 2x minus 3 is 2x minus 3 equals 2 times x plus 1, distribute in the 2, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is plus 2. Now subtract 2x from both sides. All my x's add up to 0, I get negative 3 equals 2. Is that true or false? It is false, so there is no solution to this equation here, so they do not cross. Next, I need to find the x-intercepts, which I do by setting y equal to 0, or in this case, f of x equal to 0. 
So I'm going to put a zero right here. So I get zero equals two x minus three divided by x plus one. When is a fraction equal to zero? When the numerator is zero, as long as the denominator is not zero at the same time. So in this case, it means zero equals two x minus three. Solving for x, I'm gonna add three to both sides. And I'm running out of room. So zero plus three is three equals two x and negative three plus three adds to zero, dividing both sides by two. I get x equals three halves, or since I'm going to be graphing it, I'm gonna write it as a decimal of 1.5. So my x-intercept is at the point 1.5 comma zero. And lastly, I need to find the y-intercept. You do that by setting x equal to zero. So I'm going to put zeros in for every x in my function. So f of zero is two times x, which is zero, minus three, divided by x, which is zero plus one. So two times zero is zero, zero minus three is negative three, divided by zero plus one is one. So negative three divided by one is negative three. So my y-intercept is x is zero, y equals negative three. So now I'm ready to graph the function and going to the next slide, I put all the information I found on the previous slide over here. And now graphing this information, the first thing, a vertical asymptote of x equals negative one. Well, here is x equals negative one. So here's my vertical asymptote. Remember, asymptotes are always graphed with a dotted line. Then I have the horizontal asymptote of y equals two. Here's y is two. So here's my horizontal asymptote of y equals two. Then I have an x-intercept of 1.50. So here's one, here's two, halfway in between, there's 1.50. And finally, my y-intercept of zero, negative three, which is right here. Now remember, graphs can never cross vertical asymptotes. And in this case, the graph does not cross the horizontal asymptote. So looking at the region to the right of my vertical asymptote, I have two points here. So you can see that the graph is going to approach the vertical asymptote going down there. It's gonna come up through my intercepts and then it's going to approach the horizontal asymptote as X gets bigger and bigger. Now what happens to the graph to the left of the vertical asymptote? I have no accurate points in this region. Would it be possible for my graph to come up, cross the x-axis and approach the horizontal asymptote like that? No, because it would have to cross the x-axis somewhere in this region and we only found one intercept in the other region. So I think my graph is gonna look like this, but before we sketch it in, let's find one accurate point somewhere to the left of the vertical asymptote. I'm gonna pick x equals negative two. So f of negative two equals, put a negative two here and here, two times negative two minus three divided by negative two plus one. Two times negative two is negative four minus three over negative two plus one is negative one. Negative four minus three is negative seven divided by negative one and negative seven divided by negative one is positive seven. So my accurate point is negative two, seven.
So plotting this point, I get x equals negative 2, y equals positive 7, which is right there. Is that in the region I expected? Yes. So my graph is going to approach the vertical asymptote here. It's going to come down and then approach the horizontal asymptote there. So let me sketch that in. So it's going to look something like that. So this is a sketch of the graph of this rational function.